We are still in winter, though, and there are plants that actually flower this time of year, providing color for us and food for pollinators. Here's this week's Gardening 101. In a winter of drab, you can find a burst of color. Winter jasmine displays a mound of green accented with tiny flowers. It appears to be evergreen because the stems are green. Yeah. Square evergreen stems. And then this time of the year, late winter, you know, January, February, it has a smattering of yellow flowers. The shrub stays about three feet tall as it bends into a thick green mound. Leatherleaf Mahonia is a premier shade plant that is both big and maintenance free. And in the winter, a bonus. But it does very well in the shade. It's evergreen, it has these coarse, leathery leaves. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this time of the year, in the winter, it blooms. You see these spikes of yellow flowers here that are fragrant and that on warm days like this attract bees. Yes, bees finding a meal in the middle of winter. These flowers become colorful berries in spring and summer. Winter honeysuckle is another large winter flowering shrub. They start blooming as early as December and bloom through about March or so. These little creamy white flowers, they're almost inconspicuous, but their fragrance is uh, very noticeable and it's wonderful. It'll get about eight feet tall and isn't the most attractive plant during the warm season. Put it back in the corner, closest to a walkway, so you can catch its fragrance. The pollinators will. On a warm day like this, the bees are all over the flowers. Three great plants for the dead of winter. A little color can go a long way in the cold season. If you have a question about your garden, you go to your webs our website, cbsdfw.com, and click on the Gardening 101 link. Submit it. I'll try to find you an answer. Karen. Thanks, Jeff.